So we are talking about the movie Demons, a 2017 low-budget horror supernatural drama. But are these demons metaphorical or are they literal demons? Well, you have to watch the movie to find out. The man behind this is Miles Dolak, and he actually has directed, written and starred in this movie, along with uh, Andrew Divoff, of course, the Wishmaster, and uh, John Schneider as well. So the story here is actually set on two kind of parallel timelines, so to speak. We have a kind of a modern day one and also uh, a kind of timeline set in the past. And we'll kind of jump between these kind of two timelines obviously as the story unravels. Essentially, it follows the story of this former priest. In the kind of the previous timeline, we see him. He's, he's essentially done an exorcism on a young girl that goes horribly wrong. And then the kind of the modern, uh, basically, era f- scenes are the kind of the, the aftermath of this. And he actually ended up marrying the sister of the girl that he exercised. And she is being, or they are being haunted by what appears to be the spirit of this kind of, uh, of this girl who was exercised. So that's kind of the long and short of it. Uh, I'd actually describe this movie as Entourage versus The Exorcist. Yes, a bizarre a mix of kind of properties but it kind of works especially the kind of the modern era stuff we have this kind of um former priest who is essentially after this exorcism he has written a book he's become famous and his kind of his novels have been you know, adapted into films and stuff like that and he's kind of enjoying the kind of the the los angeles lifestyle with his uh, uh you know kind of hollywood friends enjoying a party uh, and they are kind of menaced by this kind of uh, series of visions of this kind of this jewel girl who has uh, who seemingly died in the, uh, the beginning of the movie. So without kind of giving away too much, that's as far as I'll go with the synopsis there. What do I think about demons? The first thing that struck me here is the acting. I thought the acting was overall extremely well done. And I got to say the the real stars of the show here, even though they're not the, maybe the bigger names. Is, is Miles Dolak and the, the, the woman who plays his wife because I thought they both did an excellent job here in both you know, both timelines, kind of obviously the one in the past and the, the kind of modern one because you really do see the difference in their characters, uh, especially Dolak as well, who in, in the kind of the more modern ones seems to be a lot more kind of relaxed while he's a bit more kind of, uh, you know, by the book priest in the beginning. But I really was impressed with the performances and Andrew Divoff is an absolute blast here is the kind of the super religious um uptight dad of uh, the kind of the the exorcist uh, the uh, possessed victim basically so i thought the acting here was all pretty good and there's some kind of quite fun uh, scenes involving just kind of like uh you know conversations between these kind of these bunch of friends just before this kind of wedding in the kind of the modern day scenes that i thought were all all pretty good it's actually got quite a a a fairly complex story although it appears relatively simple uh initially so again this movie actually i wouldn't actually class this as a horror film actually this is more of a supernatural drama but with some kind of like horror imagery but it's not really—it's not really designed to scare you as such. Uh, it's more designed to uh, intrigue you to find out what's happened. It's more of a mystery film, I suppose, than than anything else. And I've got to say, uh, I always find it sometimes with uh, writers and directors who actually star in their films. They they struggle to kind of uh, really juggle all the balls, and they've done a pretty good job here. Certainly with the kind of the acting and directing, the writing I've got to say maybe there's a little bit of a problem as the movie goes on. I feel that feel the third act here gets a little bit kind of convoluted, and unfortunately it doesn't quite work for me. The actual pace of this movie is a little slow. I feel the if you're wanting like a horror film per se, you're not going to be really interested in this movie because it really isn't a horror film. It's a more of a uh, character study with some kind of supernatural elements. And I've got to say, even though it sort of set itself up like it is going to be a horror film, that never really kind of pays off. The uh, supernatural effects, particularly when we get to the kind of the haunting sections didn't really work for me either they are the 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 girl who is this kind of this essentially this ghost figure looks like a girl who's gone out for halloween i've got to say so again didn't really work work for me there uh so it's a kind of a bit of a mixed bag i feel if you like more of a kind of drama movies but you you're a fan of the kind of supernatural stuff then this movie will definitely work for you i feel it kind of is um 
well acted uh certainly a kind of a you know a dialogue heavy movie um very kind of limited amount of sets here uh the, the kind of the modern things really only take place in kind of one apartment it, it, it pretty much uh so that was kind of you know seemed maybe a little bit on the cheap side i will say maybe kind of visiting a few more locations kind of would have been apt but i've got to say you know even though it's i still have some problems with maybe the pacing and the kind of the maybe the payoff of this movie i thought it was a well-acted film and certainly one if you like a a dramatic kind of supernatural paranormal movie it's you may want to check it out um overall i've got to say i don't think it will hold the attention of the majority of horror fans and as such i will give it a five out of ten but i do think it has some quality work here uh so it's definitely a film i feel will, will maybe be for some people but i feel the most of the horror crowd won't be interested because it's a little slow and the ending doesn't really work for me anyway what do you think of it if you've seen it leave me a comment and i will look forward to seeing you next time bye for now